Now, putting all speculations at rest, two individuals who were abducted from Manipur's Churachanpur district have been released. Now, this indeed is a big development after security forces launched intensive rescue and search operations since June the 12th after the duo were abducted by suspected rebels. Now, two victims who were kidnapped are Kam Muan Pao, the founder of Zomi Finn's music band and also the chief of the empty Jeltam village. Well, the other victim has been identified as Gokhan Thang, hailing from Khajan in Churachanpur. All right, well, we begin with the big breaking this morning. Putting all speculations at rest, two individuals who were abducted from Manipur's Churachanpur district have been released. Well, this indeed is a big development after security forces launched intensive secure and research operation since June the 12th after the duo were abducted by suspected rebels. Now, the two victims who were kidnapped are Kam Muan Pao, the founder of Zomi Finn's music band and also the chief of the empty Jeltam village. The other victim has been identified as Gokhan Thang, hailing from Khajang in Churachandpur. Now, what you see on your screen, these are exclusive visuals here in Northeast Live that we're bringing to you right from Churachandpur. The abduction happened on Saturday and the two individuals have been released this morning. Well, these are exclusive visuals that we're bringing to you here on the channel that you can see on your screen. But just 12 after the duo were abducted by suspected rebels. Now, the two victims who were kidnapped are Kam Muan Pao. He's the founder of Zomi Finn's music band and also the chief of empty Jaltam village. Well, the other victim has been identified as Gokhan Thang, hailing from Khajang in Churachandpur. All right, we will get you all the details from Ground Zero, but like I mentioned earlier, the abduction happened on Saturday and they were released this morning. And these are exclusive visuals on your screen. Well, joining me on the broadcast this morning is my colleague MK Henry, who brought us this story. Henry, if you can hear me, they were abducted on Saturday and just yesterday we talked about the bolero that was abandoned and found and now the two have been released this morning. Give us more details. This is apparently because of the because of the measures taken up, because of the SARS operation conducted and because of the pressures put into the abductors by the security, uh, security forces of Surachanpur especially the police, that uh, the abductors have decided to release finally. The abduction, as we have pointed out, has taken place since Saturday. So yesterday, around 3.34, the releasing take place. So mm -hmm. after the release of the two abducted persons from Hengle. Hengle is a very far off place. It is a subdivision, one of the subdivisions in Churachanpur district. So from there, they were taken to watch Churachanpur town. Mm. And this morning, early, around 3.45, like uh, a.m., they have uh, met the, their, their, uh, they have reached home. So, so this is the development. So, Henry, how were they released in terms of are there conditions attached to it or were they released unconditionally? Because let's not forget the ransom that was put out by the insurgent groups. In this connection, we have, re we have raised a question to Kamwan Pao also and his family members as to whether the ransom has been paid or not. But then uh, they were very much uh, unwilling to disclose anything saying that it is too early to say anything about the conditions for the release of the uh, chiefs and his, uh, his accomplice. All right, before I let you go, talk to us a little bit about their health condition since they've disappeared from Saturday. Are they in like perfect shape or how? what are you hearing from your sources? They were telling us that uh, they have been released unconditionally. 
All right, my I'll colleague. The... Hmm. Yes, go on. Yes, go on, Henry. However, the vehicles which were left, which were abandoned at the forest at the time of their abduction, could not be uh, started. And so the, the, the vehicles and the other activa uh, were lying in the forest still. So this is what we know. And the condition of the release is uh, stated to be unconditional and on humanitarian ground. And Kamalal a while ago have uh, told us that uh, they were not even tortured, they were not even blindfolded, they were treated in a very decent manner. All right. And her daughter, that Hartnu, expressed a precision mm. and gratitude to all the uh, public who helped them in securing the release of her father.